In the battle of Nestle versus Lipton, the winner when it comes to reducing blood pressure is chocolate, believe it or not. New research in the Archives of Internal Medicine finds food rich in cocoa appear to reduce blood pressure, but drinking tea does not. The blood pressure lowering they found actually looked to be significant. In other words, was relevant to telling our patients that this much drop in blood pressure could possibly help you and help prevent cardiovascular disease or protect you from having a stroke or heart attack. Cocoa intake lowered the blood pressure enough to substantially reduce the risk of stroke by around 20 percent and reduce the risk of coronary heart disease by 10 percent. While that may not eliminate the need for treating them with drugs, it can reduce the dose that they need and in some cases correct their blood pressure without using medication. And then there's a newly identified benefit to coffee and other forms of caffeine. New research out of Duke University found increasing caffeine consumption may protect susceptible individuals against developing Parkinson's disease. If you want to drink coffee to try to prevent it, go ahead and drink coffee. It may re really reduce the chances. Or it may just be that your brain, when it craves coffee, is less vulnerable to Parkinson's disease to begin with. The study also had a shocker of sorts. Smoking may also be protective. Individuals with Parkinson's disease were around half as likely to report ever smoking and 30% is likely to report current smoking, compared with unaffected relatives. The main symptoms are due to the loss of the dopamine cells. When you get an addictive substance, such as nicotine, such as cannabis, such as anything else, you release more dopamine. Or smokers, those more likely to be addicted, may be born with more dopamine cells in the brain. So you're less prone to get it. But that doesn't mean light up to prevent Parkinson's, although a cup of joe is certainly fine. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.